Well, you too. You grab a table site and everything out. Um. <clears throat> sad day today. They found the missing five year old boy, Elijah. Um. His name is, uh. Shoot. Elijah Lewis. And, um. <clears throat> been missing for about a month now. It hasn't been six months, it's been a month. And, um. I am very highly. Um impressed that they found this kid but uh, as you can see putting a little more hard work into your investigation makes everything go down better um, and I'm like I said very impressed on how they found this kid but I'm even more intrigued and uh, highly shocked of where they found this kid. And boy, <laughs> whatever lead they got to a cell phone that was <laughs> literally thrown was somehow was uh, dumped at Air Mass Sandy Pond Beach is just wow <laughs> this case you know but then again it goes to show you know a little bit of manpower and a little bit of doing you know a lot more than what you should be doing you're gonna get the job done you're gonna get it done right and you're gonna be finding stuff um but this kid, I can't believe where he was found. Uh, of course, he's from the Merrimack Valley, New Hampshire way. Um, and literally, they were uh, Abington, Mass. And for people who don't know that town, and I only maybe heard or came across that name eh, a few times in my life Abington Mass and it's out by Brockton Massachusetts maybe like I don't know I could say if you look at Google map it's out that way going out towards like Plymouth and all that way eh, also the Bridgewater Triangles out that way crazy stuff hmm but not only that, like I say, they went and dumped this and disposed this kid's body out there and literally drove through air mass for some apparent reason stopped at Sandy Pond and tried and get rid of a cell phone. Now, I will mention one thing about New Hampshire people. And literally, when I do drive around Lemonster, Fitchburg, Air, Shirley, and I literally was raised pretty much in Air, born there. Um, I, I mean, I was born in Fitchburg, but I went straight to Air when I was, uh, of course, let out of the hospital. But I was one of the first babies treated in, you know, <laughs> Air Hospital. And um, they didn't do births there, but they treated babies, and they just had gotten a doctor to do that. But as many times have I driven through these three towns, four towns, Shirley Air, Har even Harvard, I've seen a lot of people from New Hampshire driving through them towns whether they come through Nashua Way into Westford, into Groton. That's right, I've seen a lot of New Hampshire's people coming down 
throughout this way. And you want to see that's right, because not all the New Hampshire ears come down here for stupid things like drugs, but that is the number one reason why a lot of them people come down here. So I can just imagine what these people's parent, the mother and the boyfriend's background really sinks into. They did have DCF, what we call them. They have a different name up there in New Hampshire, probably, you know, PC, you know, protection, child, something. I don't know what it is, but I know we have DCF. And man, I can tell you, man, a lot of times DCF or these cares, and it failed this kid. Oh, it did. It failed him. And I mind you, I'm no lie, I've had DCF in my life since 2007. And due to the fact that, that's right, I uh, have a certain way that I discipline my kids. And that certain way got a call starting in 2007 and right. Ever since, you know, eh, I've had a lot of complaints. But, um, say, if my way of living and my way of care or my disciplining my kids is so wrong, then why did it get two of my kids to graduate through high school? Because there's a lot of kids out there that don't graduate. And there's a perfect example. Hmm. I hate to use this as a reference, but. My wife's cousin's kid, 21 years old, was supposed to graduate this year, and he didn't. <clears throat> Same age as my son, maybe a few months apart, but seems like somebody didn't want to put the effort in. Don't get me wrong, because right when kids these days get a job, right, get that job, you know, I don't need to get my diploma, I've got a job, and see, you know what? People need, the kids these days need to grow up, and it's sadly to say there's a lot of them that don't. Because without that diploma sometimes these years, you ain't getting nowhere, but, you know, and, um, <clears throat> and I can just imagine where these people were going and doing their drugs and whatever, whatever the case, I don't know the people, I can't go bashing them like that, but I can say is that their lives and what they have done to this child only proves and that's the only thing that's going to bash and bang them down from here on till their death. And of course, they, I believe, yes, they did it in Massachusetts because out there in New Hampshire, yeah, Massachusetts is a little folks. And, well, you know, but, you know, it's too bad that Massachusetts don't take apply to New Hampshire rules. Because if you rob a man's house, that man's allowed to shoot you freaking dead. And I believe they still got the death penalty up there, but who knows, you know. I think these people will just get out of it and, oh, geez, walk away like Jeremiah Oliver. Like, um, you know, how his mother and her boyfriend, oh, we don't know nothing, we stupid. Yeah. And then you have, you know, the Bella Bond case. I didn't do nothing, but your child was in your care. And, um, you know, Rochelle Bond, right, uh, uh, playing stupid, blames the guy and gets leniency. Well, she should have got rotten in jail, too. Just as bad as her rotten teeth are out of her mouth, you know. But no, no, let him walk free. And Oliver's parents and mother's out there and her boyfriend walking free they didn't even let that person them two they didn't let their date of when they got out oh geez wonder why a lot of unhappy people that don't like to see justice not get served but i'm sure these people will skip bail you know or just just skip the jury the judge the executioner and walk right out on the street like, oh, you know, it's just the thing. It's, we didn't do nothing and play stupid and play victim. And that's right. And now there's an innocent boy that's never going to live life. Never dead. <clears throat> so, you know, these, these cases like these, like I said, I've had DCF in my friggin' life. 
Well, I'm not afraid to shame to freaking tell my stories because, right, my stories <laughs> pretty much declared victory in the end. Because they happened to come into my life, and believe me, they were in here with a little meltdown I had over over the year here because of, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to probably have to share that story with you. Because that's right, folks. I mean, everybody knows about my son and how I've gotten DCF in trouble, no, disability in trouble. <clears throat> because of, uh, you know, them giving my kids money to people I don't know. But now, you know, with my little episode that I had with the disability office, yeah, that's right, DCF got involved. And... I'll tell you something. <clears throat> My uh, son, psychiatrist, is the one to set them people straight because my youngest son was getting picked up from school, mind you. And they had, you know, and what was said and called on me, and I will get to this story, I will. You know, you know, I'm here to tell everybody in my experiences in life and what I go through. You know, give everybody a little bit of experience. Hell, maybe it'll help someone down the line. So it sure did help me, but they took advantage of my mental health. That's right. That's DCF. And the last time they came in wasn't too long ago. Came in, and they scooted right back out. But as you can see, <laughs> people like this, people like these parents, or this boyfriend and girl, mother, sit there and, you know, kill a kid. And my kids graduated. I got two more and they're gonna graduate. I guarantee. And when I get DCF telling me, oh, we need to do this until we know this and this, it's like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm not out here killing my freaking kids. I'm not out even out here beating my kids. I discipline my kids. I have spanked my kids like you're allowed to, like the law allows to because of dangerous situations. My kids put themselves and the other kids in there, you know, what they did to each other or even putting in me in danger, right? I can assure you my discipline <clears throat> is would uh, really shock somebody, but I guarantee it worked. It works. I don't care what anybody says, because, you know, I even had disability take my, no, not disability, sorry, DCF take my rights and give them right back. <laughs> if that tells you anything, because they knew they didn't have nothing on me, and, you know, they get mad, and they do things, and they say, these people, though, Killing their kid and they're just, oh, you know, uh, you know, DCF was a little bit too late for this kid. If they knew something was going on and if they were involved, I think they should have got the kid out of there, but they didn't. I'm sure they'll come up with their lame excuse like they did Jeremiah Oliver. <clears throat> or Bella Bond. If anybody wants to check out their videos up on my channel that I cover. Um, but anyways, oh shit. Um, bear with me, plane flying. But anyways, yep, this, this is a sad situation, sad story, and very disturbing. But they literally, um, you know, they literally, these people, the mother and the boyfriend, they traveled real far. And as you can see, they got caught. And this is how investigation should be. <clears throat> these are these investigations should work. <clears throat> I don't know how they got all the information. You know, it, it, this is how an investigation should have. And being in a different state... And I'm, I'm thinking the Merrimack Valley to where they found that kid was uh, at least, I want to say a good hour drive to an hour and a half drive. So with that being said, 
<laughs> this this case took a friggin' everywhere turn twist, and um, for them to nab to catch, I mean, yeah, to catch these parents in New York, and right there's another th- ended up in New York. So New York to Abington to Air, probably back, yeah, and then on their way to New York. It's like wow, they had this super planned. Um, I'm gonna have this article in the uh, description, but I'm gonna give this kid a moment of silence. And for that being said, um, till that next video. Yeah, for that being said, I mean, this is a sick story. I hope these two people burn, burn. I hope they get sentenced. I hope they get fried. I hope something happens to them very severely. Because for what they did to this kid is every other kid that's um lost in the DCF care and then wind up dead, sick, sick, just sick. Till the next video, be safe, take care. Always beware. Out.